What is going on guys? My name is Brent and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about Gulp. Now Gulp is a build slash task runner and if you want to learn how to install, set up, and run it, go ahead and stick with me. So the first thing we're going to do is to get it set up globally on our system. So the command for that in our terminal window is npm install slash g for global install and Gulp. Go ahead and hit enter and install that. So now that we have it installed globally, we want to set it up locally for our project. So in order to do that, we're going to install it as a dev dependency for our local project. So npm install dash dash save dash dev gulp. Go ahead and hit enter and install that. Now both of these commands may require that you're an administrator, so you may need to use a sudo command just for reference. So now that we're installed, let's go ahead and create our gulp file. Now our gulp file is what is going to hold all the code uh, that is going to execute our tasks. So if we go to the root of our directory and create a new file and call it gulpfile.js, go ahead and save that and let's edit it. So the cool thing about Gulp is, as the name suggests, all of our tasks are actually coded in JavaScript. So we can make things as easy or as complicated as we actually want. As opposed to maybe Grunt, where of course you can make them easier or complicated, but it's basically a configuration file. So let's go ahead and get this set up. So since it's JavaScript, we're going to create a new variable and call it Gulp, and we are going to require the Gulp module. Next up, uh, we're going to say gulp.task, and this will be the default task that we're going to set up first, and we're going to give it a callback function uh, that takes in no data, and what we're going to say is console.log um, gulp, oops, gulp is running correctly. And let's save that. Okay, so now that we have our first little uh, task set up, all we have to do is go back to our terminal and type in gulp. Now gulp by default will run the default task. Otherwise, if we set up a new task under a different name, we would have to write gulp and then the task name. But uh, for this case, we'll just hit enter and you can see that the default task was started. Uh, it executed, gulp is running correctly, and then it finished the task in 124 microseconds. So that's cool. But you know what? I'm assuming you didn't come and watch this video to learn how to ride Hello World to the console. So let's go ahead and check out uh, some watch commands that Gulp has. So what we're going to be doing is creating a new task that watches specific files and if they change it executes uh, some kind of function. So let's create a new task. And to create a new task is pretty simple. Gulp.task. Then of course we name the task. We're going to name it watch. Okay. And then we're going to give it the callback function here. And then what we're going to create is a new variable called watcher. And we're going to say that is equal to gulp.watch. And then we're going to give it the directory or files to watch. So in my case, I'm going to get them to watch my client folder. And inside that is my JS folder. And anything with a uh, .js uh, extension. And then um, what we're going to do is say watcher dot on and the event is change then we're going to execute the callback function with uh, the event inside this will give us some uh, idea of what has actually changed and we'll do console dot log um, file and then plus event dot path um, plus uh, was changed. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pretty it up really quick. And wh what we do to run a specific task is to gulp dot or gulp space and the name of the task. So in our case, gulp watch. So as you can see here, it said starting watch and then finished watch after 7.3 uh, milliseconds. But of course, now we don't have control anymore, which means gulp is still running. So in our case, what we can do here is let's go to our app.js folder, which happens to be in a directory that we are watching. We're going to just uh, 
uh, create a new comment, new comment here, and we'll save that. And then as soon as we saved it, you can see down here, um, file, uh, and it gives us our directory and the file that was changed. So now we have Gulp watching files and executing functions when those files change. Bonus. So I think we'll call it for there for now, um, for at least this tutorial. Uh, we talked about the installation of Gulp and then setting up a default task that runs when you just uh, execute Gulp in the terminal. And then we talked about uh, creating a new task with a specific name and how to run that. Um, we talked about uh, watching specific file directories and files for any kind of changes and how to execute uh, code when any of those files change. Um, in the next tour, we're going to go into some different and maybe a slightly more advanced topics about gulp so you can stay with me for the next tutorial if you like this video go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it of course if you're feeling generous check out my patreon page i would give you two thumbs up for that um if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and post them below i'm really good about getting back to everybody uh and if you have any recommendations for any future videos go ahead and let me know uh thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time take care